Alright guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a parcel vendor, how to set up a parcel vendor from the creating of the vendor to the creating of the manager to assigning the manager, setting the pricing and setting the um, state, country and city of operation. So let's start. So the first thing is uh, you need to create a parcel vendor. You need to log in as a, a system admin, uh, then go to vendors and click new fill in the form, then click on save, where you created a, a vendor. So let's quickly go over that step. So um, going to login as an admin. Now you go to vendors, then you click on new, then you fill in the forms here. So uh, let's gonna call it um, test password vendor. Um, and the phone number you're going to put an email then uh, you have to set um, the address now currently um, I want to use um, Accra uh, now you can see uh, we have a problem here the auto suggestion is not working and the reason for that is because uh, our Google Map API key is not set. So I'm just quickly going to set that and come back. So um, I've set the Google Map API key. So I'm just going to type in a uh, craft somewhere in a car. And I have a good suggestion, uh, suggestion for the time. I'm going to see that one. Yes. Any location is auto filled for me. Um, categories that are organizing categories for password delivery. Um, you can enable this if you want um, your customer to be able to schedule orders for a future date. Then, then you have the order auto assignment, which allows the system to automatically search for a nearby delivery boy or driver when the order is now ready for delivery. So I'm going to enable that. The system commission, as a system admin, you get to set um, the commission you will be taking from the amount made by this vendor. So in this, I'm just going to say 10%, um, we're taking 10%. Uh, so I'm going to enable this one. Then for the tax, uh, depend on what whatever the tax is, uh, it is in your country. Currently, I think it's about 13.5%. Uh, and then we set the logo. So, I'm going to select this uh, foodie logo. I'm going to select um, one of the pictures. As. So then you can either activate or deactivate of the vendor at this point. So click on save. Now the vendor is created for us. So right now you can see as part of the list of the vendors we have, we have um, a new parcel vendor we just created, which is called Test Parcel Vendor. Which is of the type parcel delivery. Okay. Now you're done with the first step for creating a, your parcel vendor. Now, what is the next step? Now, the next step is um, you need to assign a manager to the uh, to the vendor. So, um, a manager is just uh, an account in charge of a vendor. So, uh, a lot of people ask question of um, what is the difference between a vendor and a manager. The vendor is just like a company. It's like a store. And the manager is the person who is in charge, the person or persons who will be in charge of that particular vendor. So how do you do that? Um, you log in to the you log in as the administrator, you go to the list of your vendors, then you search for your desired vendor, then you click on the plus sign, then search for the vendors in the dialog, then click on assign. So uh, what we're gonna do here is still on the vendors page. Uh, you click on this is the plus we're talking about it's a human kind of icon with a plus so you click on the assign now you get this dialog that says assign managers to vendor so in here you can type in um, the name of the vendor and if, uh, if it's an auto complete so as you are typing suggestion will be given to you um, you have to create um, this particular manager under the user's uh, uh, menu, you go to the users, you click on the create new user, then you assign the role of manager. 
to that particular user before they will be appeared uh, before they will appear here for you to assign to a particular vendor. And please note that uh, if um, a, ven a manager has been assigned to a vendor before, the moment you select the the, the vendor, uh, the manager to be assigned to this vendor, automatically this particular vend uh, manager will be unassigned from the previous vendor or whatever vendor he or she has been assigned to before. So please keep that note. So now you can select multiple. So let's say we have we want to assign both the manager account and the manager account pa package vendor to this vendor. You search, you select the two, then you click on assign. But we're not doing that. We are only assigning one. So that is what, what that is what we're doing. So we're assigning manager account package vendor. So you click on assign. Now vendor managers created system. So automatically now that particular manager has now been assigned to this vendor. Now the the other aspects uh, before now is uh, every vendor, uh, every parcel delivery, uh, there's a package type. So it's like um, categories for the other uh, other vendor types. Parcel delivery rather uses um, package types instead of categories. So you as a manager, you have to create a package types. Um, a package type could be could range from anything from a document to cargo to uh, whatever you want to call it. So the, these are the steps required. First, you log in as an administrator. Then you go to the package delivery menu. Then you click on package types, click on the plus icon, fill in the form, and click on see. So this is what we're gonna do. So on the menu, you will see what's called package delivery. Then you see package types, you click on package types. Now currently you see we don't have any package type, so you see no result to this screen. I click on the new, then you fill in the form. So we're gonna see um, document, document, um, document, to anyone around whatever the description is going to be please be aware that this the name and the description is going to be visible to the customer so you need to put in something um, suitable or something uh, appealing then you can decide to select an image uh, so for document uh, I don't know if I have an image or document And I'm trying to find an English. Okay, since I don't have an English for document, so um, I'm going to select whatever image you can use, whatever image you want. So I select that, then click on activate, then click on save. Then now we have a package that called documents. You can also click on new to keep adding more. So let's say another, uh, the other one we are coming with, um, um, should we call it, um, let's say parcels, up to NQT, it all depends on what you're coming with. Send parcel to your of ones up to 10 kg i select a photo uh, since i don't have the appropriate photo so i'm just going to select whatever photo i think is okay so you click on save now you see now we have to package that so that's how we create a package types that will be assigned to the parcel deliveries okay and the next step is um, the next step is setting pricing. So for every um, for every parcel vendor, you need to set pricing um, on the packages, uh, the package types that you will be operating with. So we take for example um, the parcel delivery we just the parcel vendor we just created wants to send documents at their own price. So they need to do that. So how do you do that? First, you log in as the manager of the vendor, go to package delivery, select pricing, 
click on the plus icon, fill in the form in the dialog, and click on save. So um, what we mean by the manager is, uh, you remember when we created the vendor, we assigned um, we assigned a manager called manager account package vendor. So you need to sign in one of those accounts that is assigned to manage this particular vendor. So I'm going to log out of the admin account. So for that, um, I think the email is manager one at demo, and I click on login. So as you can see now, I've now logged in as a manager account uh, package vendor. Okay. Now the next step we're going to see, do is um, go to package delivery, click on pricing, and now as you can see, this particular vendor has not um, set pricing for the packages they would like to deliver. So how do we do that? We click on the plus or the new, click on the new. Now you can see the list of the package types that we've created before, document and package parcels um, up to 10 kg. So you select the, the, the package type, then you are uh, you fill in the form. For example, this is a max booking date. That's um, how long into the future from current date that the customer can book for. So let's say we just want the customer to book for a maximum of a week. So that's going to be seven days. Now the base delivery fee or the base delivery price is the, the default price that will be added to whatever is calculated for delivery fee. So take for example, let's say uh, the delivery fee from the pickup point to the drop-off point, when the system calculated it was $10. Now, what happens is that this base delivery fee means that at every point in time, the certain amount that you specify here will be added to the delivery fee after it's been calculated. So in our case, after the delivery fee has been calculated for $10, $5 here will now be added to it. So the delivery fee in total will now be $15. So price for package. So um, what this means is that um, in case you want to charge the customer for the uh, uh, package uh, size. Uh, for example, um, let's say document or parcels. You want to charge customer uh, five dollar for every kg. So you can just set in five. Then enable this charge per kg. So that means if um, when the customer is creating the order and he, and he or she enters ten kg. As the size of the package, the system will automatically multiply 10 kg by 5 because we say for every kg charge the order five dollars. So that means for 10 kg is going to be multiplied by five, which is going to be 50 dollars. Now the distance price is uh, the amount you uh, it's, it, it's your delivery fee. So um, you can set 10 as your delivery fee, and what this means that um, depending. Uh, in irrespective of the distance between the pickup point and the drop-off point, the delivery fee is going to be ten dollars. Now, to charge based on kilometer, you need to enable this. So, if you have a charge per kilometer enabled, this means that for every kilometer, the customer will be charged ten. So, meaning that if the delivery, uh, the pickup point to the drop-off point is, um, let's say, five kilometer, that each kilometer will be multiplied by 10, which means five kilometer multiplied by $10, which is going to give you $50. Then you can also, you have the option to add, um, move to ready. Uh, what this means is that um, by default, when the customer places an order, the order is pending until the vendor uh, changes the status of the order to preparing then to ready. But in some cases, you as you as the vendor you don't want to go through the process of changing the status from pending to ready you want once the system receives the order you should move it from pending to ready automatically then you can enable this then you can also activate or deactivate the pricing so we are going to keep it active then click on save now you see we have uh, the pricing so now on the on the app if a customer clicks on the document, um, our vendor is going to show up as, as one of the vendors that um, 
that can deliver this particular uh, packing style. And these are the pricing that's going to be loaded to do the final calculation for the order. Now you you notice there's a there's a there's a row here called extra tools. Now so on on the app, there's a section on the uh there's a section that collects um, the height, the width, the breadth, the the length and the the width of the order. So right now, reset you know, means that when the customer gets to that page, they are allowed to just check the page without needing to fill the form. But if you want the customer to fill in that section, you need to click on edit, then check the extra fields. So that means the customer will be required to enter in the cage, the width, the height, and the breadth of that particular order. But in our case, we don't want to use that. So we're going to use that. So that's how you set pricing for your parcel vendor. Okay. Now we also need uh, the last section that we need to talk about is the setting of the operation country, state, or city. Now this means that currently, um, when a customer tries to place an order with this our particular vendor, the vendor was created, they are going to get an error that the vendor does not set this uh, their location. Now, as the manager of the vendor, you need to be able to set the city in which you want the, the, the customer to be able to place order from, either the city, the country, or the state. Okay? Now, this is a step. You log in as the manager of the vendor. You go to package delivery. Then you can select either city, country, or state. And click on the plus icon, fill in the form, and click on save. So, um, right now, if we go to um, cities, you see it's empty. What this means is that um, once we did not set this, a customer placing another from, let's say, uh, Lagos, Nigeria, will not be able to place another with this particular vendor because we've not selected um, Lagos or Ikeja in Lagos as one of the cities that we operate in. So what do we do? We click on the plus or the new, we select the country, let's say nigeria nigeria let's say lagos and these are some of the city in lagos so let's say kedja and we activate that let me see so now what this means is that if a customer is trying to place an order from ikeja lagos nigeria they will be able to get our vendor as one of the listed uh, vendors that can um, that can uh, process the delivery. Now, in some cases, for example, if you, let's take a Lagos, there are a lot of cities. So instead of you manually selecting each cities that you want to operate in, if you want to operate within the whole, like throughout Lagos, now, instead of doing cities, you actually go to states. So now you can see the state is empty. What you do is also click on the new, Search on Nigeria. I'll select Lagos and activities. So right now, what this means is that, irrespective of the city within Lagos that the order is being placed for, the system will be able to assign the order to us because we told the system that any order within Lagos, we can handle it. Now, in some cases, uh, maybe you want to service a whole country instead of Lagos. Now, instead of manually coming here, selecting um, selecting Nigeria again, and selecting, let's say, on the state, and clicking save. And, uh, you know, uh, Nigeria has about uh, 38 states. So the, the, the list is going to be long. Now, what you can do in that case is you go to countries, select new, now select Nigeria. Now, what this means is that in respect of any location, any city, any state within Nigeria that the order is being placed for, this particular vendor is able to handle that. So that's basically what this means. So you can narrow your, your uh, place of operation from countries to cities to states. 
to their cities, their states, and their country. I hope that is correct. All right. So if, um, let's say in the future, you no longer want to service the whole country, what do you do? You can just deactivate that. So this shows that it's inactive. So that means right now, when people are placing order, the system will not check if the order is being placed within Ondo or Lagos State or being placed within Ikeja. So if for some reason you also don't want to service on those state any longer, you can also disable it. So you have the option to enable and disable at any point in time. So um, that's how you create and set up a password account. In the next video, we'll be creating a we'll be creating a, a general use case and um, vendor. Uh, the one that can service both food, um, grocery services, and pharmacy, how that can be done. Thank you for watching.